Hi guys. Magnificent. You defeated the four kings. Impressive, even for a bearer of the Lord Vessel. And with this, my purpose is exhausted. I have not seen the sun for a long time. Perhaps I could do with a change. Pretty much as we talked to him, he'll go back to Fire Link Shine. After he killed the four kings, he's all happy about it and stuff. And I thought I'd learn about a joy. Also, guys, I thought I'd show you this here. I got Titan Slab, so it is now confirmed that the Dark Wrath definitely do drop them because I actually finally got one. Um, so I thought I'd show you that there, and I also thought I'd show you that what I pretty much do when I'm off camera. I do a lot of farming, you see, I do a lot of for soul farming and um, farm a lot of skills, like dragon skills. I've got two here, as I'm showing you. Um, this is what I pretty much do off camera. So, just in case you guys are wondering what I'm actually up to. <laughs> but as we continue on with the game, anyway. This is where um, Ingrid will uh, show up after you've talked to him in uh, Four Kings. Um, he will come up here. Oh, the sun. hello! The sunlight made me wince, and now I've come back to this dark hole. So, what brings you here? I will help you in any way I can. Um, pretty much, he still only sells the same items. So, if you, you know, just really no interest. I can't really see any good reason for him to be standing out here, really. Um, and there's really no point to killing them now, anyway. Um, but now that, we, that we've got access pretty much to the DLC, well, not literally, we're about to go get the final bit of access to the DLC, then we're going to go to the DLC. Um, I did the boss last night. Um, also, Scholar Sato, he got uh, Resident Evil 6 there yesterday. Um, which should be out in a couple of days, World Wild, I think I know. But, um, I don't think we're going to do any videos of that, and we apologize for that. We're just not ready to do console videos just yet. We're still only doing PC at the minute. Um, but probably after Christmas, or maybe a wee bit after Christmas, or even maybe a couple of, ten maybe a couple of weeks before Christmas, we'll decide to do it. All depends, um, what everybody wants and how we're going to go around to doing it and stuff. Uh, we have the equipment here to actually do it. I think we could uh, do some crappy videos with camera if we need to. Um, but we, uh, we've we got a Hobpog Gaming Pro HD uh, sitting sitting uh, down in our office, but we never we haven't actually used it yet. And because really, myself, I myself prefer uh, to game on PC. Uh, Scholar and Leo. To prefer console. Um, Scholar is Xbox, Leo he's PlayStation Y and PC. Um, but uh, maybe we'll get onto some console gaming uh, later on throughout the year. And again guys thanks for all your comments and stuff. Uh, I'm reading through a lot of the emails so sorry I haven't replied to most of you yet. Um, don't think I'm being a deck when I don't reply to you. Um, I just haven't got time around to doing it yet. Um, but I'm getting around to it. So. As you can see guys, I've been reading messages in this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and re read a lot of messages that are helpful. And then read the ones that aren't. I hit this boar of the arrow. <laughs> he just decided to go for a walk and I was like, what the fuck? You know, it's... <laughs> fucking silly boar. Gets hit in the head of an arrow and decides to go for a walk. He's like, screw this, I'm out of here. <laughs> but, um... Do be careful if you do run. Uh, I'd rather just maybe better off if you just run up because this will happen. They will come charging at you. Um, don't fight them right here because it's not really a big area. I do fight the second boar here, if I remember correctly. Um, but I do find a wee, I show you a wee bit easier way to take out the both boars. Uh, just pull them back to the stairs because this boar does not know how to walk down stairs. So he pretty much stands at the stairs and stares at you pretty much. Because somehow he's forgotten how to walk down stairs, as you can see. He's like, fuck stairs, blah blah blah. I don't know how to walk down them. And it really, he's just scared of stairs. And pretty much, if you just stand there and range him, melee him, do whatever you want to him, just. He's not gonna get beyond that barrier, and he will keep come charging up the stairs and. They're not come down them. So, pretty much, uh. Great place to, uh. Set and just slap him. Also, guys, if you haven't got the boar hem yet, uh, 
good idea. Get ten humanity and get your, as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, gold serpent ring. Be careful of that stuff if you do melee him face to face. Um, I just wasn't paying attention and paid the consequences. Um, so, guys, do be a bit careful anyway, as you know. Uh, but as I was saying, if you have ten humanity and gold serpent ring, you, uh, you have a chance of getting the boar helm here. You get two chances to get it. In the whole game so far, I know off you only get three. So, if you definitely miss it the first time around, yeah, get it in one of these two. Uh, back in the Xbox when I spent the rumor was you had to actually break open um, the boar's head to get it. Um, but, now it's, it's definitely been proven, as you can see, it's just an actual item drop rate. So, um, woohoo! Um, so make sure you do uh, have a good bit of um, item drop yet before you go in here and do this. 10 I managed to do. Uh, I'm 16, as you can see, but that's mainly because I've built up over time from helping people, from doing um, the four kings and stuff like that. So, guys, yeah, 10 is enough anymore. Um, also, it's rumored, but it's never been proven really. Um, and from all my testing, really, it doesn't really make a, much of a difference if you're in human or hollow. Um, literally, as I said before, in human form, it's only really uh, used for summoning people. Uh, so if you feel like being human, uh, go ahead. Uh, just be careful, because since you're human, uh, you can get infected. Um, you can poison these spores as well, by the way, as you can see. Um, I did the testing on that. So if you want to poison them, bug off or do something else or we bit till they die do, you can do that as well uh, or poison them and just stand and wait um, however this was the safe area for this boar it's roughly on down a wee bit more just careful of that kind of stuff <laughs> as you can see he pretty much almost one slapped me um, so I drink up his flask and run back at him <laughs> give him a nice weapon see he comes out even further down um, when it comes to this far down, he just literally turns his back on you, and that's good for million. I was like, oh, the first time I kind of messed up here because I was like, hmm, I wonder. So I tried to stab him in the ass, and well, that messed up. Um, I do keep trying to stab him in the ass, and I never actually get him, really. Uh, <laughs> pretty much after that charge, uh, just nail his ass. Don't be taking that the dirty way, thank you, people. And Surfer Seed, I know you're probably watching this here thinking, get your dirty mind out of the gutter. Uh, just literally tear his ass apart with your sword. And, you know, it's pretty much easy. And people, if you are thinking of taking it down the dirty way, I think you need to wash your brain out with soap. But anyway, <laughs> uh, as we're running for the access, we don't have to go the whole way up to. Uh, Thief the dragon for this here. Uh, we only need to go so far in. Um, pretty much light that bonfire and head up the elevator. Um, I counted that anyway, just to uh, make sure I got my time fast. So anyway, and um, plus, this is me kind of when I came back, just in case I also didn't have the humanity. Even though I have something like a hundred and seven humanity sitting in my. Uh, access box. Well, 99 in the box and 47 on me. Um, I know I'm not going to run out of it anytime really soon, but I usually try and keep 10 on me uh, in my person at all times. Uh, just so if my sword, if I die and I can't get my 10 humanity back, I can use the 10 blocks and stuff I got there so, and get my sword working. Best way to do this is you can see, just load them out one by one because that ranger, he doesn't hit a lot, he's just uh, a wee bit annoying. Um, for all the guys who wanted to see a prey, I did, um, uh, um, this here, next kill is just for you guys. I was like, forget, I'll show you. See? Prey, easily. I don't like praying a lot, it's because some mobs I can't really judge it properly, but most of the time I can, and I do get awesome preys. Um, but I, I have been practicing a bit better uh, 
just so I could show you guys Paris because you said a couple of emails there. Uh, some people want to see Paris, some people want to see me try a backstab. I don't know why the stuff is easy enough to do yourself, guys. Like, um, there's great videos out there to even teach you how to do prairie and, and the frame rate of prairie. Um, after that, guy shoots his arrows. You can see just arrow him. He's got no pass, so every arrow pretty much gives him a knockback. Unfortunately, if this prick comes running just before one arrow kill, as you can see, he takes the arrow instead. So he's a prick for that. Uh, just get rid of him. And go up and finish that we did off. Um, I don't know if I should range him or what I should have done, but I just ranged him anyway and lost it. Took the he took the hit just to get rid of him anyway. Um, if you go up far enough here, this is all that we do to come running at you. The big dude will just stand there and be like, meh. He doesn't argue you until you get really close to him. Uh, so do take out all these retaining dudes first before you go for uh, the crystal golem. Now this Kristen Golem is going to drop a broken pendant, which gets, uh, for the guys that don't know, this here gives you the access to the DLC, but he will not drop it unless you freed Dusk, and you've killed the Hydra. So, well, the free Dusk you need to kill the Hydra anyway, so pretty much, to get access to the DLC, you need a Pistol Lord Fessel, give it to Framp or Calf, after you give it to one of them, um, he also drops blue titan and chunks, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if he drops the slabs. Uh, I haven't done enough uh, testing myself, but I have heard that the butterflies um, in the Duke of Archives uh, Crystal Cave drop them. So um, that's, I have actually seen a drop in a couple of videos, so that's definitely been confirmed. Um, uh, this guy just teleported away now, where I was like, what, what, fuck you? And I just took an hour to the ass and decided to run on. Um, pretty much you don't need to go any further than that. Uh, that there golem, if you want just DLC. If you want to continue off the main story, uh, you can. Uh, right now, just uh, walk on up there and you'll get in just a clear area. But if you want to do the DLC of me, now's the time. We're going into the DLC area now. For all you guys have been requesting me to hire my little, my little uh, dead ass up. I'm finally doing it. And by the way, haha, I'm not dead no more. I'm human right now. Hey! I'm not hollow no more. Um, pretty much from here, uh, we wanted to teleport to Undead Parish. Um, and pretty much, since we as you can see, we got the Brooklyn Pendant. Manus is the guy, the big guy, the big main guy. He is searching for his pendant. Well, hello. You seem to need anything. And there seems to be two halves, two halves of it. Um, you've got one half, but someone else has got another half. Um, it's never confirmed who really has the other half or where the other half is. Uh, but people do think um, a guy that you do meet later on in the abyss has the other half. Um, from what I've seen, they did. Uh, he doesn't drop it uh, when you do actually kill him, so it's never really been confirmed. So he's probably uh, people think uh, he's probably already give it to Manus, or um, he's dropped it, or he's just he's just discarded it somewhere, or he's hid it from you. Um, Most weapons and armor are you know, mighty loads, sturdy indeed. Loads of ideas. Every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you notice durability running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, eh? Thank you, Andre. You can go back to work now. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Fucking right. Hollow is horrible. Because you look like crap. If out there, I will give you a proper buy. Thanks, Andre. Um, pretty much after you've done fucking about with Andre, you're yeah, looking at his amazing chest. Um, pretty much, we're going ahead for the forest. Make sure you do kill the first two trees because uh, they will follow you down, down the uh, path towards the Hydra. <laughs> uh, so we do kill them. The first one, as you know, is pretty much straight away. Um, 
you cannot actually go by him. Well, you can run by him if you want, like, but you're gonna have to keep running the whole way down because these guys will follow you. Um, get some purple moss. we hey, you're never gonna have enough purple moss. Um, pretty much just stand here. Oh, somebody walked off the cliff. That was smart. Um, wait for the second one to come. Since he does get close enough, uh, just to kill him, or even run up and kill him yourself. Um, if I do, we back up. Let's show you some style. Awesome. Why I love the curve blades because I find that the kick is good for kicking people off ledge and stuff. But um, <laughs> the curve, when you're wearing a warmer, the fair light, you've no defense. I find the curve blades work a bit better because if you do that uh, slash and then backflip. You've done a hit to the enemy, and now you're out of harm's way. You know, you've got time. You've got some distance between you and the enemy, which is good. It's what you want. Um, if you can learn how to use it properly, I, I, I have, I'm trying to figure out the best way to use it at the minute. Um, there's good examples in using it. Uh, you probably already know. Most of it is just basic knowledge. Uh, but there are some where. Uh, good places to use it and there's some bad places to use it like uh, if you're fighting the black knight here it's really not a great idea to do it around here because you might backflip off the freaking cliff and boom splat your body's on the ground um, if you've done all the stuff that we've done up to this point in the video you don't need to kill these golems as you know uh, just run by the, the, f the big fat crystal cunts and uh, keep running. Haha, <laughs> he missed me. Now he's got to kiss me. Um, you might also want to put on your uh, ring of uh, I guess poor fitting, uh, what's it called again? Uh, rusted ring. Uh, there we go. Uh, put on your rusted ring just to get through the water a wee bit faster. Um, don't forget to change it now when you also enter into the abyss. <laughs> now, the abyss will not pull you in straight away. You have to interact with the abyss to get in. But before you interact with the best, go around behind it and pick up some armor. Um, at the minute, as you're going to find out here, uh, dusk is gone. Now, at the minute, it's going to give you the idea that dusk is dead. But the question is, is she dead or is she still alive? Um, from what I know right now, to me, she's, it looks like she's been killed and her body's been left here. Um, so pretty much, I was there was a cool wee effect going on with my head and the abyss, so I was like, yay! But it's after you summon it, um, this is what happens. The guy will touch it. And then, doom, there's a way in. Look at that big hand. Very elastic hand. Or arm, even. And pretty much this is us in the Sanctuary Garden now. Um, is this meant to be the forest? Something like, people were saying it's something like forest. Um, you actually are in the past, but they just named the place is different. Um, I haven't done much exploring yet, so I don't really know. But guys, if we go on, we will discover the stuff together. As you can see, I've got pff, oh, 142 humanity. I, I try to make sure I don't run low on that. Uh, just great if you this is the farm that as I showed you in one video, the rats is great. Um, two places uh, for humanity is coming up soon. One's in here and dollar one is down near Nito. Um, but we'll get to that there when the time comes. Um, for this fight I would probably recommend uh, if you have the ring of fever on keep that on because that's always good. Uh, maybe put on the ring of state protection, which is always good. Um, give you that wee bit more defense. Um, but if you're going to go to the stamina route, put on the stamina ring or the stamina shield. I prefer the stamina ring because the shield, uh, you always take damage with the shield if the, if the hit is, part, is hard enough, so do be careful of that. Um, also guys, I maybe recommend bringing in a lightning shield that protects you from lightning and lightning armor. Because uh, this boss does have a few lightning moves that you need to avoid. It's got um, three to four different ones. Um, he has about a hundred different fucking moves. <laughs> I went in here. Um, 
you to learn some of them. And not enough every time I go in, I go in about three, four times here. But mainly the first couple of times I'm going in, uh, to learn moves and also to attempt for his uh, whip, um, the guardian tail. So you have to cut off his tail to get that. But I do show you uh, two ways to cut off the tail. Um, it does do two moves. Uh, one he flies up in the air and one he's on the ground. Um, but there's two moves that you get the chance to cut off his tail, as you will see in this video. Uh, since my guy, is, since I'm done fucking about it, it seems in my uh, inventory, I must be just banking up. I probably should have done this off camera, and I apologize for that, guys. Um, oh, here we go. Now, I don't know if you can summon phantoms to help you in this fight, by the way, because I never tried it myself, and I never did a co op battle, as you will see. I just did this one by myself. Um, pretty much, since you enter the DLC, straight away, within 5 seconds of it, you're into a boss fight. Which is awesome! Um, and there's your very first boss. Pretty much. Watch out for that, every time you enter, he will do a lightning move at you. Now, one of these shits, like, four bolts. Oh, you shoot the big, big bolt. I prefer the big bolt because it's easier to dodge. It's just a roll to the right or left. Easier not to dodge. Um, as you will see, I don't dodge it very well a lot. You might want to dodge that. Uh, but sometimes if you don't dodge that move, um, you will do another move. Which is, um, yeah. But I think you have to be a certain close distance to him. Um, which also gives you an opportunity to get at his tail. I think I only time once or twice in this uh, whole video. But I do show you. Um, this move when he jumps up into the air is a great opportunity to get the tail, as you see. Roll. Uh, as soon as you've dodged him, uh, he lays his tail down, and you've got a couple of seconds to get over it and hit it. Uh, so go over there and do as much damage to the tail as possible. Uh, that's one way of getting the tail off. Um, that move there, uh, when he goes up in the air, it's just letting in the gap. The best way to dodge it is just roll forward if you have the stamina still on you. Um, but you should if you weren't in stamina ring. I could easily fight that, but I fucked up. I was in learning moves and not paying attention to my health at all. Uh, just trying to learn what's the best way to react to some moves. Um, the minute, like, I'm just playing with them, trying to learn the stuff. Now, as you can see, uh, you can also block that there, but it does not get back and takes all your stamina pretty much away. Um, but that's with my shield with uh, 67 stability. Uh, it is level 14 uh, bladder shield, uh, bladder shield. I haven't actually upgraded to the 15 yet. I do have my two slabs there to upgrade it. Uh, even though I only need one to upgrade to 15, uh, I'm just not to show I'm doing with them yet. I don't know if I should save them for the achievements or not. Um, if he goes up in the flies down, flying up in there, and he's, as you see, lightning around him, that means he's going to do that. Uh, so do prepare for that. Um, that move there is another great opportunity to get the tail as you saw. I stayed down in stone motion there for you. Um, I completely missed the tail though, so it was pointless. Um, but that move there, if you see, if when he does that move, if you can time it right, um, and if you're close enough, he will usually duck his head under, um, duck his head under, and bring it up to smacky one, the gat. But as you can see, it leaves the tail on the ground. So it's a great opportunity to slap the tail as well. Um, apart from that, that's about the only two moves I find to go for that tail. Um, pretty much, it is an easy fight, guys. It's just maybe the only hard bit in the fight I find was getting the damn fucking tail cut off. Um, mainly the reason, as you can see, I rolled and got the tail. Well, I actually didn't get the tail, never mind. <laughs> I think that was horrible. Um, he's got a lot of moves as well that he spams, so... This way I do take a lot of damage, and... I actually don't start playing good until all my fasts are pretty much gone. Be careful when you are behind him, because he does have four moves, or uh, three or so, uh, behind that kick, which I've never seen before. So that's fight. Um... He has like a tail whip where he spins the tail around and he also has a tail slam where he slams the tail down on you. As you can see when I roll backwards there from that there uh kinda quick move he did, 
Uh, instead of him ducking his head under to charge me, he uh, just shot lightning at me. Um, then he was there where he's going head, head, head. They're fast combos, you do be careful of that stuff like that. Um, because yeah, it's quite a, a combo there, can be can really mess you up. This move here is the only one um, I have trouble with dodging. Apart from that move, I can dodge the rest. Um, I, ha I, do, I have dodged it a few times and I just really, it's the only one I really seem to have trouble with. It seems to really dodge it properly, you need to sprint like a bitch away from him. Um, and in the direction of the, he's not shooting. Um, as you can see. Uh, but unfortunately I did dodge that, fortunately. But I took my hit as well. Um, So pretty much the other two moves that you want to look out for and try and uh, get the tail. Guys, don't worry about dying. Come on and get the tail. As soon as you get the tail cut off, that's all you that's it. All you have to do is worry about there's the tail whip as you saw. Um, pretty much after um you actually got the tail off, it's all focused on him as I will show you in my next uh, after this death. Um, this I this here uh, this here fight here, I actually get the teal, if I remember correctly. Um, for the next fight, um, I come in full force, ready to uh, do some fighting. Um, you do see me mix up my uh, raw katana to my fury sword. I just do a little bit of test and see if any actually do any more damage. It seems that at the minute they both do roughly the same damage. Um, So really, the only reason I would use my Royal Cantana is I don't, I don't have my 10 humanity. As you can see that, move is, some of his moves are pretty nasty and can't or will one hit you. So do be careful of that. Well, that's only if you have low fatality or boost fatality. Um, I have low fatality, I don't actually have boost because I have but uh, 4 levels of my fatality. And that's why he pretty much can't one hit me. Um, Apart from that there, uh, just keep a watch out for some of his moves. Um, that move just roll forward. Um, because pretty much roll forward at the range of it, because he shouldn't it right into the middle of you. Um, every time I roll back I got hit by it. Um, I think you can roll. Watch out for that. That's I didn't even know he would have a move like that there. It was pretty crazy. Just jumped on top of my head and funny hopped off it. Um, as you can see, it's only really maybe I have trouble dodging. Now that I'm at a flask, I'm shitting myself a wee bit. Um, but it is an easy enough straightforward fight. Um, um, Just really, like I said, uh, first couple of fights, guys, if you're dying, don't worry about it. Just, just the tail is what you want. After you get the tail cut off and get the whip, um, your main focus then after that is just him. Your main focus is the first couple of battles, especially going after the whip, is um, not maybe to learn the moves, but your first focus. So you'll be in, learn his moves, learn how to dodge them. Practice that, guys. If you have a lot of souls, like I have 300. Uh, 312k souls here. Uh, um, now that's a wee bit worrying to lose um, for so many people. Um, at the moment, I can't. I really don't care. But I do come in and crack them again just to try and figure out what I'm going to spend them on. If I'm going to spend them on levels or items or what I want to spend them on. Um, here, I slow this down to show you. I mean, that there, if you get hit at the right place to get, you can quickly stand two bars of stamina, enough to dodge dodge it right like that, you will leave your tail wide open. And if it's your last hit, this is what happens. Boom, baby. We got ourselves a whip. Pretty much, that's the whip done. So the next time you come in, even though you, right now, obviously I'm not going to be able to do much more of this fight. I have no flasks. Uh, but I probably could have actually done it. If I actually, actually didn't get a little bit cocky in this battle, so I do actually get a little bit cocky and end up getting my ass handed to me because of it um, that's a great time to heal there guys when he backs off the gut there and starts walking sideways by the way 
It's about one of the few opportunities in this here to heal. I've noticed um, there's not actually many opportunities to really heal against this boss. I've noticed uh, because he's really doesn't give you much of a break, and he's really always at your at your face trying to take you out for you to come out. Um, if you dodge that move where he slams down the gap, um, you can get a few hits into him. But here guys, let's show you how to do it properly. So as we've got the tail now, our focus is just him and get our souls back. I kind of lost him there and I was like where the fuck did he go and then I end up taking a smack to the back. Near enough, after every couple of moves he does, you can keep walking him. If you stay onto one of his sides, um, most of his moves I notice do miss you. If you can stay to his right or left side, um, I think the right side is probably the better one. I never, because it's the side I usually stay to. Um, I notice uh, most of his moves will miss you, and you can actually hit him. Mm. As you can see, I'm pretty much cock out of my sword. Need a, need a longer sword. Should sure probably use the get down for this fight. Um, Moise, one second off that there. Pretty much, as soon as that last attack hits you guys, of him doing that two headbutt move, slap. Just slap him right in the face. As you will see, I do here. I guess this one. I learned. Yep. Even though it's not a lot of damage, it's still more damage off his health. Great opportunity to heal for you guys. Use a faith heal for that if you have them. Um, try and keep your class for the big emergencies. Watch out for the kick when you get behind them, like that. Get your shield up to protect yourself from that. Try and keep your shield up at all freaking times. Um, I haven't seen a way to actually not kill this guy yet without a shield, unless you're an expert at dodging. Uh, but I do recommend guys keep the shield for this battle. Uh, I'm probably one with a great stability uh, to do that job. Over 60 would do. I say I have a shield there, it's about 66 stability. Um, actually, I think it's in the sand just now. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, get a good shield or stability on it. About 65 plus should be, hopefully. Um, if not, you can kick my ass or something. Um, That's the only move there I've seen that's actually got through my shield, the one where he does the stand on your head kind of move. Um, so do careful out there. Um, pretty much after an of every combo he does, you can get into his side if you're quick enough and get a few slaps on him. <sighs> Remember there is no rushing to kill this guy because he's he's a pussy really. Um, especially when you've got all your focus on him. Um, he's not all that hard. Um, so there, there's not a great opportunity. It does that a few times. Like, um, also, if you, like I, if you saw there, um, I didn't bother him that time. I actually went up to slap him. Um, it's also a good time to go up and get a few hits into him as well when he does that. Um, and dodge. I'm actually quite proud of how I performed in the final fight, uh, compared to my first two fights, as you guys probably, as you probably just saying in the first two fights, God, he sucks. Uh, probably even just also not actually, but I was quite proud of how I performed for this fight uh, on, on the first try. Uh, especially since it's my first time fighting him, um, I haven't done much looking into his fight. I only uh, saw uh, one of his videos um, was done by Epic Nambro. He was showing you... Um, how he cut off the tail. After that, I never watched how he actually fought the guy. I only learned how to cut the tail off. Which was, he only showed that move. So I don't know if he knows about the second move or not. But, um, DMB, if you're watching us, there's actually two moves to cut off his tail. Well, two chances. Um. Just be careful with all this stuff. Um. Air dodge. He's a pretty, he's pretty much an easy fight. Um, like I said, probably a hundred times in this video, and apologies for that. <laughs> but um, like I said, get the tail. I'll focus on him. You can 
see, I'm having no bother really with them now. I'm just messing up, and making a few wee mistakes, and I'm being punished for it, which I deserve to be punished. I'm making a few wee mistakes. Um, just try not to get cocky and try not to uh, really. As you can see there, I kind of rushed them and lost all my stamina. I know most of the chance again slap really hard. Um, do not get cocky and try to. Uh, don't get excited if his health's getting low. If his health's getting low, that's alright. Ignore the health. If you have to turn your freaking HUD off, um, his health doesn't matter. All that matters is he's a 5 until he drops. And the less chance that you know of him dropping is better for you. But, uh, thanks guys for watching. Um, pretty much I'm gonna run straight for this next bonfire in the Royal Wood. And that is me for this video. Uh, the next video we'll be doing more exploring and stuff. It'll probably be a long video and I will apologize for that guys. But I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.